Hi, it's Michelle from Here and There Makers. I wanted to show you one of my all-time favorite go-to recipes uh, for all-purpose cleaning spray. I've been using this one for years and years. Um, I just found it on the internet somewhere and I honestly can't remember. I've probably been using this for 15 or 20 years now. Uh, so the key thing with any spray is to get a quality spray bottle, whether that's glass um, or plastic. You generally, I haven't seen any non-plastic triggers, but a quality trigger that has got a little filter on the bottom is really key. Um, I would be um, inclined to pay more for a good spray bottle that's going to last as opposed for a cheapo one that you're going to have to replace in a short time and it's going to end up in landfill. That's the way I view it, but anyway, uh, we all have to make our own decisions there. So I just make this straight into the bottle, pop a funnel in. We need three tablespoons of white vinegar. Okay, so one, two, and three. Now, depending on your dishwashing detergent that you have and how concentrated it is, you'll need to use one to three tablespoons of detergent. Now, this isn't the brand that's in the bottle. That's This is a refill from our store, the Kin Kin dishwashing detergent, which is very concentrated. And so I just use one tablespoon of this one. So I'm just gonna pour that one in there. Oops, scoop it on out with my finger like that and then I'm going to add in a teaspoon of uh, essential oils I'm going to use tea tree oil because I really like the um, antibacterial antiviral antifungal properties of tea tree oil uh, but you can use whatever you like the smell of so just pouring in that teaspoon of essential oils and then one teaspoon one to two teaspoons depending on your preference of borax powder Okay, so I'm just going to pop that through there. Okay, and then we just carefully and slowly pour and fill up our 500ml bottle with cooled boiled water. You can just use tap water. I find that I use this so quickly that it um, never has had a chance to go bad. I use this for cleaning off my benches and tables, my bathroom, my shower and bath, the outside of the toilet, pretty much anything um, and everything I use this for. And it is a really good and easy uh, all-purpose cleaner. Now, the one thing I do suggest that if you are filling it directly from the tap, don't pour the water in really fast or that detergent is going to froth up on you and then you won't get it full. So just pour the water in quite slowly. The other thing that I would advise against is to put... Uh, Castile soap into this recipe instead of detergent. If you mix vinegar and castile soap, the castile soap will separate again into its oil components that it originally started as and ruin your recipe and be a very gluggy uh, consistency. So make sure you're using a detergent, not a castile soap. There are plenty of all purpose sprays out there that do use castile soap, but they won't use vinegar at the same time. So that is my go to. Make sure again that you've labeled that. You don't want anyone um, ingesting that or doing something with it and not remembering what you put in there. So make sure you've popped all your ingredients and instructions on the outside there um, with a Sharpie or with a label maker or something. Anyway, thanks for joining me and happy cleaning.